Good morning, class. So for today, I'm going to teach you how to make a line in AutoCAD application. So you can draw a line by just simply using the line icon on the menu bar and click it anywhere in the drawing area. So ito po yung um, line icon sa menu bar po ng AutoCAD or you can type line or L as the shortcut of line in the command line at the bottom of application and click anywhere in the drawing area. Ito po yung command line sa ating AutoCAD application. Diyan mo po type yung word na line or letter L and then i-enter mo para po makapag-create ka na ng line. But as an engineer, we must be accurate and precise in designing. So, there are three ways in making a line with accurate dimensions. So, the first way of making a line is the absolute coordinates. The second is the relative coordinates. And the third one is the polar coordinates. So, absolute coordinates refer to a Cartesian system that uses x, comma, y, to establish a point at some distance from the common origin. So, 0, comma, 0 is always the UCS icon and it is considered as the origin. So, ito po yung UCS icon sa ating AutoCAD application. The Cartesian coordinate system is the standard coordinate system. The position of a point can be described by its distance from two axes, x and y. So, gagawa po tayo ngayon ng square na may dimension na 4 by 4 at ito po dapat yung magiging itsura sa AutoCAD. Ito po yung ating magiging command na gagamitin. Okay, now, pagkatapos po natin mabuksan yung AutoCAD application is gagawa nga po tayo ng square na may dimension na 4 by 4 sa pamamagitan po ng line. Or pwede nating tindutin yung line dito. And then, meron po siyang hinihingi. Specify first point. So, mag-start po ako sa origin, which is 0, 0. Press enter. So, yun po, nagkaroon po tayo ng line. So, gamit po yung mouse, yung scroll button, pipindutin ko po at hahatakin ko po papalapit doon sa ating line. So, ayun po. So, hinihingi po yung next point. Ang next point po natin is 4, 0. Press enter. And then, i-zoom po natin. So, scroll up po tayo sa mouse para po ma-zoom in natin yung ginagawa natin. So, medyo maliit po yung ating ginagawa natin. Kaya, kailangan po natin i-zoom. And then, the next point would be 4, 4. Press enter. Okay. Um, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi po natin ma-achieve yung ating square na polygon. So, bakit po? So, by default po, um, halimbawa po, kaka-install ko ng AutoCAD, meron po siyang default settings. So, kailangan mo po yung baguhin. So, i-escape ko po, and then, type po ako ng OSNAP, enter, and then, punta po ako dito sa dynamic input. And there, then under, dito po sa pointer input, meron pong settings. Then, i-click ko po yung absolute coordinates. Since ang ginagawa po natin ngayon ay absolute coordinates. So, burahin ko po ulit siya, ano? So, again, line, enter. First point is 0, 0, enter. Second point is 4, 0, enter. 2.4, 4, enter. And then, 0, 4, enter. And then, pwede ko pong um, i-enter yung C. Shortcut po siya para sa close. And then, enter. So, ngayon po, nakabuo na po tayo ng square na merong 4 by 4 um, dimensions or 4 units by 4 units. Now, let us proceed to the second way of making a line 
which is the relative coordinate. So, relative coordinates relate to the current point. Meaning, kung saan ka um, natapos or saan natapos yung point mo, dun po yung reference point mo para po makagawa ka ng next point or next line. So, to specify a relative coordinate, you need to use the symbol at as a prefix. Cartesian coordinate looks like this. At 4, 0, which means that 4 is the distance traveled in x-axis and 0 is the distance traveled in y-axis. Now, gagawa po ako ng ganitong figure sa AutoCAD. At ito po yung gagamitin kong line. So, kung mapapansin nyo, gagamit ako ng at. Um, Mag-type po ako ng line. Press enter. And then, hihingi po yung first point. 0, 0. Enter. So, the next point would be at 4, 0. Again, okay. Gagawa po ako ng, um, so, enter po ako ng line, then enter, specify first point 0, 0, enter, and then the next point would be at 4, 0. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, nakagawa na ako ng horizontal line. Now, saan po akong natapos? Yung point ko po is natapos dito. So, ito po yung magiging reference point ko. So, ang next point ko po is at 4, 4. Press enter. And then, the next point would be at 0, 4. Press enter. And then, I can now close the polygon by typing C. And then, press enter. So, nabuo ko na po yung hinihinging figure. So, again, ito pong relative coordinates, kung saan po yung huli mong point, yun po yung magiging reference mo. So, the last way of making a line is the polar coordinates. And it use one distance and one angle to describe the position of a point. So, gumagamit po siya ng prefix din po na at at saka po yung symbol na less than. Okay, now, gagawa po ako ngayon ng ganitong figure. Using polar coordinates po. So, um, like for example po nga pala dito sa polar coordinates, meron po ako ditong at 34.897 angle 30. Ito pong 34.897, ito po yung magiging distance in drawing units. At ito pong 30, ito yung magiging angle po. With reference to the 0 degree in the positive x axis. Para pong sa analytic geometry. So, gawa po ako ng line. Specify first point, 0, 0, enter, and then the next point would be at 4, angle, 0, meaning yung distance ko is 4, and then angle is 0 with respect to the positive x-axis. So, yun na po. So, next po is at 7, angle, 30, enter. So, 7 po yung distance, and then ang angulo niya po, or ang angle niya is 30 with respect to the positive x-axis, dun po sa 0. So, ito po yung sukat po sa angulo. Ayan. And then, close. And then, press enter. So, nabuo ko na po yung hinihinging figure. Now, gagawin ko naman po itong um, figure na nasa presentation. Kung mapapansin nyo po, meron siyang rectangle and then sa loob ng rectangle is merong object or polygon. The first point would be 0, 0. 
And then, nasa sa akin na po kung saan na po ako nadadalian doon sa tatlong ways of making a line which is absolute, relative, and polar coordinates. Okay, so, this, the next point would be at 10 angle 0. Next is at 7 angle 90. So, 90 degrees with respect to the um, positive x-axis. And then, at 10 angle 180 degrees. And then, close. Now, yun naman pong polygon na nasa loob. So, gawa po ako ng line. Enter. The first point would be 1, 1. Next, I have 2, 2. Next, at 3, angle 0. Next is at 1, angle 270. Next, at 2, angle 0. Now, ngayon po, dun sa figure, merong um, label po na 135 degrees. Yung pong angle sa loob po ng polygon. So, pwede ko pong i-minus yung 180 minus 135. Makakawa po ako ng 45 degrees with respect dun sa positive x-axis. So, ang magiging um, command ko po is at 2 angle 45, enter. And then, at 3 angle 90. And then, at 1 angle 180. And then, we have at 1 angle 90. Next, at 3, angle 180. Next, at 1.4, angle 270. Next, at 2.6, angle 180. And then, I can now close the polygon. So, ayan, nagawa ko na po yung figure na hinihingi ni presentation. So, for your activity... So, you construct a portrait rectangle with dimension of 4 by 6 using the three ways of making a line. Absolute coordinates, ano po yung magiging command doon? Relative coordinates, ano po yung magiging command na gagamitin nyo? And polar coordinates, ano yung mga command na i-input nyo sa AutoCAD application? So, thank you so much. I hope you learned something from my topic, which is the line and angles.